Check out these aluminum parts. These are going to look great on our Traxxas Max. Let's head over to the bench and get them installed. So on our menu of Traxxas option parts to install today, we have the front aluminum caster blocks, we have the steering knuckles, and then we have the rear carriers. Now these are all machined from aluminum and they have this nice orange anodizing finish to them, but really nicely machined pieces. And then the parts that need hardware come with the hardware. Now uh, the steering blocks, they come with screws with Loctite already on them. That will help secure the tie rod once that gets installed in place. And then the caster blocks, they have the pins which we actually already installed in the last video. But if you're installing this onto your stock truck, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the stock pins and use these because you won't be able to use the screw pins in these aluminum blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing the truck down. I'm gonna pull the body off wheels and tires, and then we'll get started with installing the rear carriers first. All right, we've got our wheels off. I'm gonna start by removing the 17 millimeter hex from the axle here. And uh, that's just basically a pressure fit onto the axle. So you're gonna take a flat blade screwdriver and just slide it between the hub and the hex and just pop it off. And once that's off, you could go ahead and slide out the cross pin. And then you could go ahead and unscrew the hinge pins if you have stock arms. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have the optional pin kit in here. So I'm just gonna remove the set screw that secures the pin in place and use a 1.5 millimeter hex driver to insert into the back of the suspension arm pin hole and push the pin right out. With the pins removed, we could simply lift the hub out of the arms, slide the axle shaft out, and now we can just pull the slider out and look at that, one of the bearings already came with it. And I'm actually just gonna use the end of the stub axle to push the other bearing out of the hub. And now we just have to transfer these over to the new hubs. Just make sure that when you're installing the new hubs, you grab the right side. So in this particular instance, we're working on the right side of the truck. So we're gonna put it in the right hub. And if your bearings are dirty, now is a great time to clean them off before reinstalling them. Now I'm going to finish wrapping up this hub and then I'm going to go and slide the slider shafts back together. Just make sure that you line up the cross line on the back of the shaft here and uh, I'm just going to drop the pins back in and so all the screws, the pin in the axle shaft and the hex hub and then we'll move on to the front of the truck. Rear hubs are in, they look awesome. Now it's time to move on to the front steering knuckles and caster blocks, and they're pretty much gonna come out the same way as the rear hub. I'm gonna remove the screws and the pins from the suspension arms, and then I'm gonna remove the screw from the steering tie rod, and I'm gonna pull the assembly all out in one piece. So there it is, the front and caster block and knuckle assembly, and all I really need out of here is the drive shaft, the wheel hex, and uh, the bearings. Basically swap everything out just like it did in the rear. Uh, I don't need the pins from this because those new caster blocks that I showed you come with the new hinge pins to, to install in them. And uh, same with the steering blocks, they come with the new hardware for the, the steering link screw. So this is going to be an easy swap. So I'm gonna get these parts swapped out and show you how it looks once it's all assembled. So our steering blocks and caster blocks are in. They look pretty awesome on this machine. I definitely like the shape of them and that orange is really bright. Now, what's more important is they all fit together perfectly. There was no hand fitting involved. That's the thing with some aftermarket parts that may not line up right in your truck and you might have to do a little filing or grinding with these you don't have to do that. It's only gonna take you about 10 to 15 minutes to install, you know, maybe each individual part, you're putting it all together at the same time, uh, but they're really easy and they're really going to help improve the durability of the truck if you're rough on your machines. And I think they look pretty cool as well. All right, guys, we got some more work to do on this truck. Up next, we're gonna work on the shock. So if you wanna check that out, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell, throw this video a like. We'll see you back soon for some more build time with our Traxxas Max project. <laughs>